Hello students and welcome back to OCM lectures. Students, in the last few classes we have discussed about the functions of management. In those functions of management, we started with the first and primary function of management that is the uh, known to be as planning. Planning, the second function was organizing. The third function was staffing and the fourth one was directing. Today, we are going to cover a part, again, a function of management, which is always been done after direction, that is coordination. Although this function of management is not being included much in it, because it is being already included in direction part, but in our curriculum, in 12th curriculum, you have it as a separate function of management. So let's start with understanding what is coordination. If you can see on the board or if you can see on the slides, on the screen, you can see a team of hockey. A women team is being playing hockey and a team Whenever there is a teamwork in an organization or whenever the people work in a team requires coordination. As you can see, the people, the other team is winning and they are screaming with joy is just because with the help of coordination, with the help of teamwork, they have achieved their target. So you can say that with the coordination, any organization can achieve the targets or the stated goals. So why coordination if we can see? You can see a picture on the screen where the people are working all together to form a railway line but half have done wrong and half have done correct that is a railway line has been formed on the other side one railway line is formed on the another side this is where you can say there was lack of coordination among the people. That's why this result was the outcome. That is the outcome of the coordination or without coordination. In fact, we can say that without coordination, the outcome will always be negative or you won't get a proper outcome which you require. So we can say that coordination must exist or there is no organization only experience that is other coordination nahi hoga to koi bhi prakar ka organization existence nahi hoga but sirf ek kya rahega ek mere feeling hogi ya experience hoga jo log le so coordination hona bahut zaruri hai organization Again, I'll give you an example over here. As previously also given the same thing. If in a hotel, we say I visit to a restaurant and I feel that the restaurant's ambience is very pleasant. The food I eat over there is again tasty. The people over there is very humble. Why all these things I as a customer experience is because all the team working in that particular restaurant is coordinated enough. I say if the people of that restaurant, that is the workers of that res restaurant is not humble to me, the Second time, I won't be able or I won't be visiting that restaurant. Even I will not suggest the people to visit those restaurants. Even if the cook is not preparing a tasty food, I won't be able to visit next time. 
say every department of the you can say of the restaurant need to be coordinated enough they have to do their own individual activity with the coordination with the other department also so as to achieve their goals of the organization right the next one is you can say that what is coordination exactly then is coordination integration only i say no or you will also understand that integration is not only a uh, coordination is not only integration but it is synchronizing the efforts of the group that is mixing or making people work towards achieving the targets that is working towards the targets of the organization that is making the people to work or synchronize in one goal or one activity again it is not only synchronization but coordination provides unity of action for organizational goals that is if i want to achieve the organization goals then what i have to do as an organization manager i need to provide unity of action and unity of action will only be provide when as a manager i will provide them with only one plan to order be one plan be one aur sabhi ke organization goals ya sabhi organization ke employees ko ki activity ko main synchronize karungi aise उन सब के एक्शन एक ही गोल को अचीव कर सके दैट इज टुवर्ड्स अचीविंग द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन गोल्स लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट वन व्हाट आर द फीचर्स ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन यू कैन सी द फीचर्स ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन आई हैव ओनली पोस्टेड और आई हैव ओनली सजेस्टेड थ्री ऑफ देम बिकॉज़ दे आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन वी से कोऑर्डिनेशन इज द एसेंस ऑफ मैनेजमेंट बिना कोऑर्डिनेशन के तो कोई एक्टिविटी ही नहीं होती आप अपने घर में भी देख लीजिए एट होम आल्सो योर मदर कुक्स फॉर यू ऑल शी टेक्स केयर ऑफ योर बिलोंगिंग्स और केयर ऑफ योर्स योर्स आल्सो सेकंडली योर फादर वर्क्स फॉर यू ऑल अर्न मनी सो दैट ऑल दीस एक्टिविटीज कैन बी डन इवन यू आल्सो प्लेस अ इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन द फैमिली because you listen to what they both tell you and you successfully achieve those how when all the people in the family work together or stay together happily and how will they stay together when each other listens to each person right so you can see coordination is essence of management again it is a managerial responsibility also yes coordination is managerial responsibility is not the responsibility of employees but it is the manager's responsibility to make the people coordinated or make the people synchronize their activity again coordination is requires group activity why group activity because one person's uh activity cannot be synchronized right you require two or three people to synchronize those activity that is in a team or in a group only we can synchronize the activity together and achieve the organization goals again you see that uh what is the essence of management coordination is one of the main part of management ek chhota sa part jo bahut important hai hum maine starting mein kaha ki it was it is not a function specified in other courses but in your course it has been specified why because coordination is said to be the essence iske bina koi bhi activity work nahi ho sakti main kehti hu targets achieve nahi hue kyun nahi hue 
क्योंकि सबकी एक्टिविटी क्या नहीं थी सिंक्रोनाइज नहीं थी सब एक साथ वर्क नहीं करेंगे So, सब एक साथ तभी वर्क करेंगे जब कोऑर्डिनेशन होगा और कोऑर्डिनेशन तभी होगा जब सारे मैनेजर्स एक दूसरे के वर्क को स्पेसिफाई करेंगे और एक साथ सिंक्रोनाइज करेंगे अगेन इट इज अ मैनेजरल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वे यू से कोऑर्डिनेटर विल टेक द होल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर यूल्डिंग द रिजल्ट यस रिजल्ट तभी मिलेगा जब कोऑर्डिनेटर कोशिश करेगी कि उसका डिपार्टमेंट क्या रहे सिंक्रोनाइज रहे उन सब की एक्टिविटी को रेगुलरली चेक करेगा और एक दूसरे के ऊपर एक दूसरे को डिपेंडेंट बनाएगा या इंटरडिपेंडेंट वर्क जरूर करेगा बट एक्टिविटीज को क्या करेगा एक दूसरे से लिंक अगेन ही विल बी मेड अकाउंटेबल फॉर इट कोई भी कोऑर्डिनेशन इंडिविजुअली एम्प्लॉय नहीं करता है बट अ मैनेजर डज दी synchronization right so he will be held responsible again it includes subordinate to cooperate willingly uh every manager will try to motivate his subordinate towards the cooperation or tries to make them uh understand why cooperation is important so he is the person who do all those things right it brings individual motivation and persuades the group to have ident identity of interest and look into the success right so if i want to make the people understand what is coordination then i need to motivate them towards achieving those coordination activities again again uh, it requirement of group activity yes jab hum sab ek sath milkar kaam karenge tabhi hum organization ke goals ko achieve karenge ek example le lete hain if i am working in a finance department if i think that finance is the most important um element of the organization i am wrong with it finance hona bahut zaruri hai पर फिनेंस को यूटिलाइजेशन प्रॉपर यूटिलाइजेशन होना तभी हो सकता है जब ह्यूमन रिसोर्स होगा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ह्यूमन रिसोर्स होने के साथ साथ यूटिलाइजेशन कहाँ करना है वो एक्टिविटी भी होनी चाहिए जिसको हम कहते हैं मार्केटिंग अगर हम ले सो ऑल दी थ्री डिपार्टमेंट्स आर इंटरलिंक्ड एंड दे कोऑर्डिनेशन रिक्वायर्स ग्रुप टू वर्क टूवर्ड्स दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन So all the three departments, human resource, finance, marketing, all are interlinked, and they are known to be as group activity. That's why coordination requires group activity. If there is a team work with no coordination, there will be no success. Yes, अगर तीनों ही coordinate नहीं करेंगे, तीनों अपने अपने इसमें work करेंगे, तो शायद organization के goals achieve ना हो. But if all the three departments are synchronized together their activities are synchronized together then they will if all of them work as one team then only they will achieve the success of the organization right coordination helps to resolve conflict yes jab do team mein कॉन्फ्लिक्ट होता है तो कोऑर्डिनेशन से ही वो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट को दूर किया जा सकता है दैट इज मैनेजर ही रिस्पॉन्सिबल होगा कि वो कोऑर्डिनेशन लेकर आए कोऑर्डिनेशन के साथ इट हेल्प्स मोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिटवीन द ग्रुप आई हैव अ पर्सनल ग्रेजुएट्स विद अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन इन द अदर डिपार्टमेंट बट व्हेन माय ग्रुप एक्टिविटी कम्स when all the departments work together then my personal grudges are set aside and i work for organization goals and that is to be made confirmed or uh, you can say it has to be done by the manager that is it the manager need to bring coordination amongst all the activity again uh, as per your textbook there are few importance given for coordination i made it a easier 
pattern for you to understand. That is aims go few. Right? You say coordination aim. Aim that is the first uh, importance is achieve organization goals. As an organization manager, I should make it sure that my team work in a team or in a group towards achieving the goals. And coordination leads to minimizing the wastage and utilizing the resources to its maximum. Whether it is the time of employees, whether it is, uh, you can say, rejecting the delays, right? Or it includes the dispute amongst the department. As a manager, I should only aim or I should make the people aim towards achieving the objectives of the organization. Setting aside with those grudges. Again, it also ensures smooth working of the organization. If it is smooth working of the organization, then I will targets achieve targets. And what is coordination? Smooth working without any disputes, without any grudges between the employees. It brings or it makes the people aim towards achieving organization objectives. The next one is improves relations. What does it do? Aim, that is A was achieve organization objectives. Second, I stands for improve relation. Improve relation between whom? Between the employees, between the departments of the organization. As I say that I have a grudge with an individual in another department, if we both keep our individual grudges in front and give more importance to our grudges, then we won't be able to achieve our individual targets also or the organization targets. In turn, there will be a loss for my organization because they indirectly the organization has not achieved the targets. So I should avoid, I should improve the relation by bringing, as a manager, I should bring coordination so that it will improve the relation amongst the employees. Now, uh, again, the same example of a restaurant. If I say a cook cooks very tasty food, right, but the delivery of that food is delayed by the worker or by the waiter over there. Again, it is the loss of the organization. Why? Because one has done the work properly, the other has delayed the food, the customer will indirectly get affected. Why? Because he would get the food late. Right? If that food is being delivered on time, the customer will be satisfied and the ultimate aim of the organization will also be achieved. That is maximum customer satisfaction. Again, the same thing is being followed by uh, if you have seen in, in this pandemic situation, if you have uh, ever experienced uh, Zomato app and uh, if you have uh, ordered some items, food items from Zomato, what they do is, they keep their customers satisfied. How? They bring a good coordination amongst them, right? Coordination between the store from where I have ordered. They go to that place on time. They pick the material on time and they deliver the goods on time. So we are satisfied with the Zomato also and we are satisfied with the restaurant from where we are ordering the food. This helps in improving the relationship between the organization or between the departments. Right? So coordination develops coordinated relationship between all the levels of management or all the levels of organization. Every department depends on functioning of the others. 
यहाँ पे एग्जाम्पल फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट के पास फाइनेंस बहुत है पर यूटिलाइजेशन के लिए मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट यूटिलाइज ही नहीं कर पा रहा है तो क्या वो फाइनेंस मेरे लिए बेनिफिशियल होगा नहीं अगर मुझे प्रॉफिट अर्न करना है तो उसका प्रॉपर यूटिलाइजेशन भी होना चाहिए इफ मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट इज रेडी विद न्यू आइडिया बट द फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट इज नॉट एबल टू गिव द फाइनेंस टू देम अप्रोप्रिएट फाइनेंस तो क्या मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट अपना टारगेट अचीव कर पाएगा या ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अपना टारगेट अचीव कर पाएगा नहीं सो अ गुड रिलेशनशिप कैन बी मेंटेन बिटवीन द डिपार्टमेंट व्हेन देयर इज अ गुड कोऑर्डिनेशन अमंगस्ट देम अगेन इट आल्सो हेल्प इन मेंटेनिंग द गुडविल goodwill of what goodwill of the organization as i told you that i visited a restaurant right this restaurant what the speciality of this restaurant is i said give a name to it abc restaurant this restaurant what they is what they provide us they provide good services they provide tasty food and on time so its goodwill is been maintained similarly it has to be done with the organization also that all the departments need to work together that is higher sale higher product profitability can be achieved due to synchronized effort i guess synchronized effort honge ek sath log work karenge department work karega tabhi ek good human relationship banega organization mein with the lower cost राइट तो कॉस्ट भी कम पड़ेगी एंड साथ में टारगेट्स भी अचीव होंगे सिमिलरली इट क्रिएट्स गुडविल फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द मार्केट यस जैसे मैंने कहा इफ द रेस्टोरेंट इज प्रोवाइडिंग मी विद अ गुड फूड टेस्टी फूड आई विल बी कन्वेइंग दिस टू 10 मोर पीपल ऑफ माय ओन दे विल बी आल्सो ऑर्डरिंग द फूड फ्रॉम दैट रेस्टोरेंट दिस इज हाउ द गुडविल ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंप्रूव्स व्हाई because the synchronized activity or group activity which do do in the organization again coordination reflect reflects on market value yes goodwill also affect uh, coordination jab hoga na to goodwill maintain hoga aur goodwill maintain rahega to share market mein mere shares ki image bhi kya hogi achhi hogi achhi well maintained ho aur well maintained तभी हो सकती है जब ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में वर्क अच्छा हो और प्रॉफिट अर्न कर रहा हो प्रॉफिट कब अर्न होगा जब कोऑर्डिनेशन मेंटेन रहे राइट प्रॉपर डायरेक्शन मिलेगा प्रॉपर प्लानिंग होगी बट उसके साथ प्लानिंग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग स्टाफिंग डायरेक्टिंग के साथ कोऑर्डिनेशन भी होना बहुत जरूरी है अगेन नाउ लेट्स चेक द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंस स्पेशलाइजेशन yes coordination brings specialization specialized knowledge of all the departmental heads help in taking the managerial decisions agar managerial decisions lene hain to mujhe is coordination lana padega coordination ke sath specialization bhi aata hai right again uh, coordination leads to uh, march towards the growth and success in competitive world if i want to meet the competitive world if i want to cope up with the competition then i have to bring coordination and specialization in my activities again coordination gives direction that is goals jo hamara aims go fuel hua aims go right go ka g g stands for gives proper direction coordination integrates the efforts of different active uh, departments and it helps in achieving the organization goals only towards one organization goals right that all department has to follow again it helps in arrangement of work in a systematic way it tries to bring or tries to coordinate or arrange the work in such a way that this work uh, this work or activity can be done in a systematic way right again uh, coordination brings interdependence of department giving proper direction to the employees that is 
proper direction agar maine employees ko diya to it helps me in bringing uh, coordination in a right the next one is optimum utilization of resources o o stands for optimum utilization of resources har ek activity boli gayi hai ki it uh, tries to bring maximum utilization of resources similarly this function also help in uh, maintaining uh, you can say it helps in bringing optimum utilization of resources right again a uh, manager tries to integrate all the resources together systematically it helps them in utilizing all the available resources in the manner in which they are been arranged and in a proper way uh, and it helps in minimizing the wastage matlab kab kaun sa material mujhe chahiye kab kaun sa material mujhe nahi lagega it has all this setting when you do a coordination with the departments all together again it gives you or it facilitates motivation fuel f f stands for facilitate motivation yes coordination motivates the employees in achieving the organization goals so to achieve the organization goals uh, coordination increases the efficiency result into growth and prosperity of the organization it also helps in prosperous organization uh, or prosperous organization ensures what they ensures first job security dena bahut zaruri hai to coordination job security provide dena chahiye second high income agar mujhe prosperity lani hai coordination lana hai to har ek employee ko ek job security provide karna higher income provide karna promotion and incentive provide karna time to time whenever it is been required right this brings a proper motivation and helps in coordination again it next is unity of direction yes coordination brings unity of direction coordination karna hai matlab kya karna hai hame logo ki activity ko synchronize karna hai aur synchronize tabhi kar sakte hain jab सबके सब एक ही टारगेट्स को अचीव कर रहे हैं दैट इज यूनिटी मेंटेन कर रही हूं यूनिटी ऑफ डायरेक्शन राइट कोऑर्डिनेशन हार्मोनाइजेस द एक्टिविटी फॉर अचीविंग कॉमन गोल ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज द कॉमन गोल ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नीड टू बी अचीव्ड राइट एंड दिस कैन बी अचीव्ड व्हेन आई गिव देम अ प्रॉपर डायरेक्शन एंड प्रॉपर डायरेक्शन कैन बी done with proper coordination when all the activities or all the department goal is only one again it increases the team spirit at work place what is the next one if you can see with the diagram uh, it shows efficiency level that is coordination leads to higher efficiency proper co coordination proper direction proper synchronization will always lead to higher efficiency of the employees with the help of optimum utilization of resources what they do they bring effective integration of resources again the higher organization can achieve higher returns in terms of higher productivity agar higher returns mujhe earn karne hai मुझे प्रॉपर रिटर्न्स अगर अर्न करने हैं तो मुझे कोऑर्डिनेशन सारी एक्टिविटी का होना बहुत जरूरी है दैट इज ऑल द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड ब्रिंग हायर रिटर्न हायर प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी एंड व्हेन इट कैन बी अचीव व्हेन अ प्रॉपर कोऑर्डिनेशन कैन बी डन सो दिस वाज इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस वाज एम्स गो फ्यूल दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन right so coordination means synchronizing the activity bringing all together the efforts of the employees of all the departments towards achieving what towards achieving organization goals this was the features and the importance of coordination let's study a take case on this basis clean sanity where is a big company managing many employees at the same moment is a challenge in which this company always faces since the company has many departments 
means it is necessary for the company to ensure unity of action. Right? Among various departments. The various departments are human resource, marketing, finance, operation and sales. The employees are always concerned about the company and are useful resource to their organization. So, the employees are also towards the same goal. That is, they also think that the organization should achieve the targets, right? The employees were also concerned about the company and are useful resource to their organization. Though, they have diverse interests and have to perform different activity. The management ensures the effort of the employees should be given a focus so as to achieve the organization goals. That means manager is trying to give the direction to all the employees of all the departments, individual managers of all the departments so that they can achieve what the organization goals, right? The different departments have their own interests but due to proper coordination, the conflict of the interest in the de department is minimized to a nil. That is, everybody is looking towards achieving the organization goals, not working for their individual one. When it comes to the employee, the organization show its concern. That is, they are also, the organization is also thinking about the employees, right? They are not thinking about only the profit, but they are also thinking about their employees. Uh, the career of the employees is shown a development path through proper training modules and job enrichment. So, what they are doing, just say, I have importance me para ki proper motivation dena or kaise dena. Logo se prosperous work tabhi ho sakta hai jab higher salary do, higher motivation do, uh, incentives do. To yaan par organization is following the same thing. They are working towards enriching the growth of the employees also and organization also. Rajiv is a manager uh, who takes care of all the duties and responsibility to be assigned to his employees in the department. He uses all the sources to develop a proper communication with them. That is communication proper hai. Wo chaata hai ki pure employees aur apne employees ko assigned work deta hai. Division of work bhi karta hai. Right? And leaves no attempt to motivate them. That is, he tries to motivate it every time whenever it is being required. This year, the company has decided to give best manager award to Rajiv for his contribution to the organization. So, what do you think the case study belongs to which function? Let's see. The questions related to this case study are at which level management does Rajiv work? Which function of management does he perform here? And state any three importance of it. Matlab function bhi batana hai. Mujhe usme uski importance bhi batana hai. Let's see to it. The first function, that is the first question was been asked. To which department Rajiv belongs to? So Rajiv belongs to the middle level department or middle level management. Right? Second which function does Rajiv perform here? So, Rajiv has maintained coordination. He motivates the employees on time. Whenever required, he tries to ensure that all the uh, department people will work towards one goal. So, here coordination function is being discussed. Again, any three importance need to be highlighted. Ab kiske? Coordination ke. So first, if you can see in the case study, it has been shown that improved relation is being maintained or good healthy relation is being tried to maintain by the organization through Rajiv. Right? Second, uh, proper direction will be given to the employees towards achieving the organization goals plus they were given the chances to grow themselves also. Their own skills also. 
right next one is the last one they also encourages the teamwork all the organization you can see in the lines of the case study it was being given that the uh, organization is trying to uh, work in a team they place all the department all together to work in a team and this team uh, spirit is being encouraged through proper coordination so where i feel that these three uh, importance were being highlighted in the case if you feel like more uh, features or importance is being portrayed so you can write it down in your notebook with the case study right so today in the class we are studied about the coordination what is coordination it is synchronizing the efforts of all the departments towards achieving one common goal again uh, we have seen the features of coordination we say coordination is the essence of management without coordination we cannot achieve the goals or we cannot be the, the organization cannot be successful right again you also say that what are the importance of the coordination so there are various importance of coordination which i have arranged in uh, the order as aims go fuel where you try to achieve the organization goals where you try to integrate the efforts where you try to bring uh, motivates the employees where you synchronize this the efforts of the employees or you can say you encourages the team work or bring proper direction or give proper direction to the individuals in the department so these were the importance with the case study of coordination i hope you have understood the topic clearly please do revise the topic please do revise the uh, order in which i have given you right please maintain the same order and write it down in your textbook plus you need to write it down in your notebooks with the detailed explanation right so i hope you have understood the topic thank you